Hello everyone, it's Carol from Lily Rose Blue and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. Thank you to Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming for being the organizer of all of us. Please go to her site, uh, look at all of the other Thrifty Thursday participants and subscribe and give them some love and hello to all of you. Um, thank you very much uh, to a couple of new subscribers, to Marnell from Mimi's Keepsakes. Oh, I love your stuff. I love what you do, Marnell. It's just wonderful. And also hello to Chasing Retro. Recently found your channel as well and, and you mine. And uh, for both of you, I, I just hope I get to meet you in person someday. And a big shout out to Angela for connecting all of us. Thank you so much. So, oh gosh, probably, this is probably from three weeks ago. At least time flies, right? Um, you guys have heard me talk about my scrappy friends. One of my scrappy friends is named Chris. And she told our group about a place in a town near us that uh, is called Create Exchange. And it is essentially a thrift store for crafters. It is amazing. So, um... You can consign there um, up to $20 a day. Um, when you go to check out, there's no prices on anything. Uh, you can negotiate. Um, typically, uh, the owner gives you or charges you, charges you about a third of retail or what it would cost in a regular thrift store. I got so much stuff, guys, and it was incredible and uh, it's called Create Exchange out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, I don't think she does much online trading, but if you ever get a chance to get to Iowa, please, please go check her out. She's doing amazing things. So lots to show you today. Um, first, I found some napkins, lovely watermelon napkins. Uh, this will be for the cup summer coming up, right? Because we're... Already kind of uh, getting cold here, folks. Getting cold here. We have frost warnings uh, today or for tonight. Um, these are the same napkins, but this gives you an idea of, sorry, I'm making sure the, the back and the front. So really cute. Um, pardon me while I go out just a little bit more. Um one of my plans is to make a junk journal for my son-in-law who does a movie blog. I think he might appreciate that. Some fall napkins, a whole box of cards, um, and I got a bonus letter in here, and some stencils, if I, can, if I can find them. Probably not at this moment, but lots of gorgeous cards. That was so fun. Pardon my reach. Uh, Donna Cooler's 555 Christmas cross stitch design book. You can you can see the various patterns here. Um, make the, this in this in that cute. Sorry, I bumped the camera. I'm gonna actually scoot the camera back just a little bit. I am on the struggle bus with this tonight. Um. Anyway, making uh, some journal cards and tags and things out of those. This is a magazine called The Iowan, and I will say all magazines are free at this Create Exchange. Um, this is from fall of 1982. Has some gorgeous images, as you can see here. And it is you know, falling apart, but that's okay because I was going to take these apart anyway. So just some fun pictures that kind of depict Iowa. So definitely use those in some junk journals. Here's a, a couple of pieces of, it's not quite craft paper. You can, it's, it's more like butcher paper, really, 
So some music notes and then another piece with uh, old fashioned time pieces, which I love. Here's some other things I'm going to show you. Uh, if you can see this ad, um, I, I find this fun because often it's the woman telling the man about where to hang things on the wall. And in this case, the, um, the role is reversed. So just um, some vintage looking uh, drawings here. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but he's spraying something and she's holding her nose. Meanwhile, it looks like there's nice food on the table. So that's a bit confusing, but the ads are fun. Now this is, this was a tablet, basically. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous picture on the front? Unfortunately, I can't read that language. If somebody knows what that says, please let me know. But again, when you open it up, um, it is it is falling apart. But just lovely images in this book. So you get the idea of that. I promised myself I was not going to say gorgeous 15,000 times like I've tended to do in, in other videos. We'll see how successful I am. I also got a bunch of calendars. You'll see more here in a minute. Um, the calendars, if she charged me much, if she charged me anything, it wasn't much at all. So this is... Um, Spinal's Vets First 2022 calendar. Some cute images. Sorry. That's a really pretty fall. Chickadee and apples. Uh, bluebird with blueberries. So I will use those in junk journals. Here's another magazine that um, it is actually falling apart. It's spring, summer, 1956 McCall's. You can kind of see it there. Um, you see the back. You can see some of those lovely images. I love old magazines. I just think the images are fantastic in them. This gives you some idea of some other fun things that are in this magazine. Um, I'm just going to keep on going. This is going to be quite the video. I saw this at um, Create Exchange. Made me think of Angela and her Sewing Notions Sunday uh, series that she does. So just some fun sewing. And again, sorry guys, I'm going to try this again. I don't know definitely struggle bus with the video today sorry about that pressing interfacing look at the patina on this page just some fun things um this may end up in angela's hands we'll we'll see some more calendars hoot nanny uh owls owls are also on my junk journal list to do i have a great niece who um actually goes to a bird sanctuary and volunteers there on the weekends. Um, and owls are her favorite. So I would love to do that for my great niece. Here's another calendar. Toys for Tots with some gorgeous images. Look at this fox. Oh, I have a heart for all animals. Well, most. I don't know about spiders and snakes, but most animals... Look at this gorgeous fox. Uh, 200, uh, 2018 Animal Lovers calendar. Here's some more images. You can see some dogs, a seal, a pig, rabbit, horses, cats, eagle, elephants, dogs. Fun, fun. Another Toys for Tots. Gorgeous scenery pictures. 
Gentle Giants, a draft horse racing. I'm going to see if this helps. I'm sorry, guys. Calendar, some other horse images. You all have heard me talk ad nauseum about making several horse junk journals. Here's a pillow box, two pack. Some old carbon paper. Just look at the graphic on that in and of itself and I think that's all that's in there but I picked it up just for the graphic this is just some red paper I don't even remember picking this up I wonder if she gifted that to me a uh, Renoir art for children book I wonder if it would be better I'm standing up I wonder if it would just be better if I sat down. And sorry, I did move the camera a little bit. So this talks about Renoir and some of his gorgeous art. Oops, I said that word again. Beautiful, lovely. And also one Rousseau, Henri Rousseau. Beautiful images. Another calendar, nature songbook. Now I'm worried I'm not in frame. Some winter scenes, uh, the blue jays with the cardinal, or with the squirrel, sorry. There's the cardinal. Uh, bluebird, chickadee. Um, just gorgeous pictures. I said it again. Oh no. Another animal lover's calendar. Look at that cute dog. And here we have wolves and dogs, cats, uh, leopard, monkey, horses, and bears. Elephant, too. A best friend, save them all. Oh, I would take them all. I would. Other animal uh, photos in here. <laughs> Look at that pig. That just, that just makes me laugh. That just makes me laugh. I found two different Victorian calendars. This is from 2000. Um, I'll go like this. The, these are pretty big. But really fun images that can be cut down and utilized. Um, there's the trying to fix it so it doesn't glare. This Halloween one I think is stunning. Then a Iowa Outdoors calendar from 2012. Whoops. Turn it around the right way, Carol. Um, some turkeys and deer and bald eagles, woodpeckers, flowers, rock formations, geese, mink, Otter. Otters are one of my favorite things. A pheasant, another calendar. An eagle catching a fish with some geese in the background. An Easter seals calendar with the dahlia on front. Look at those really, really vibrant, pretty flower pictures that I'll be able to use. Here's that other Victorian calendar from 1999. Can you see that? Oh. And, and the, the uh, calendar part was never used either. Um, this is April, so I'm assuming there's a lot of rabbits and chicks because it's for Easter. Um, now the graphic, the colors on those are just phenomenal. I found some charms that were cameras. And I found, I think, three of these Lang calendars. These are really, really big. So this is not going to be in frame no matter, no matter what I do. Um, but just some beautiful, these are really expensive uh, to buy new. I was thrilled, thrilled to find this. 
That's an example of that calendar. Whoops, there went a page. It's falling apart. It's okay, I'm going to take it apart anyway. Another calendar with a really pretty bridge picture. Looks like there's a bike on the bridge. A smaller calendar. Uh, pictures from around Iowa and Missouri. And then a Lang calendar called The Journey Home. Gladiolius or, or uh, Hollyhocks, I think, is what those are. I misspoke. Here you see some images kind of on the farm. A Lang Four Seasons calendar. I keep forgetting they don't have... Uh... Now these are definitely hollyhocks. With a little girl with the kitty cat. These are like um, watercolors, um, original art almost. Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna break this into two videos I think since I'm kind of on the struggle bus with the taping today here is a bag of beads necklaces and stuff that I thought I could turn into dangles um, that's a goal <laughs> I haven't done it yet but hopefully I will a bag of trim old lace trim a handkerchief I think I'm gonna call it a handkerchief it is a shell pink color with some pretty embroidery and a another piece of linen it's almost too big this is almost too big for uh, I don't think it's a handkerchief but a peach color with white flowers with blue centers on that. And then a handful of doilies because you never can have enough, right? And I'm going to uh, pause there. This is uh, video one of the Create Exchange video. Hang on and I'll be back with part two. Thank you.